Welcome to the March 2nd, 2012 edition of Inside Rensselaer, about the people, research, and events at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. The Hyde Collection in Glens Falls is currently featuring an unusual exhibit. Building Futures, Re-Envisioning the Hyde at Rensselaer presents conceptual proposals for expanding the Hyde campus designed by faculty and students of the School of Architecture. A new study, led by nanotechnology and biotechnology experts, is providing important details on how proteins in our bodies interact with nanomaterials. The researchers developed a new tool to determine the orientation of proteins on different nanostructures, a key step in the effort to control the orientation, structure, and function of proteins in the body. Engineering researchers at Rensselaer and Rice University coated pieces of gold, copper, and silicon with a single layer of graphene and then placed a drop of water on the coated surfaces. Surprisingly, the layer of graphene proved to have virtually no impact on the manner in which the water spread on the surfaces. A new implantable sensor developed at Rensselaer can wirelessly transmit data from the site of a recent orthopedic surgery. Inexpensive to make and highly reliable, this new sensor holds the promise of more accurate, more cost-effective, and less invasive post-surgery monitoring and diagnosis. Joseph Medina, Assistant Vice President of College Relations at Colby College, has been appointed Assistant Vice President for Advancement Strategy, Services, and Infrastructure. Nuclear safety expert Peter Caracapa, campus radiation officer at Rensselaer, recently visited Capitol Hill to brief congressional staffers on radiation and radioactivity. Doctoral student Rebecca Wax has been awarded an American Association of University Women American Dissertation Fellowship to support her research on lower back pain and the development of electronic sensors to monitor patients' response to orthopedic surgery. In celebration of National Engineers Week, the School of Engineering hosted its annual Exploring Engineering Day event. Racing robots, clever computing, radical radiation, material mysteries, logistical Legos, smart lighting, slime time, and fantastic water filters are just a few of the engineering activities more than 450 elementary school students and 600 parents explored as a part of the program. Rensselaer women's basketball senior forward Hillary McKinley spent seven days in Honduras as a volunteer with the Global Medical Brigade. The organization utilizes volunteer efforts of college undergraduates along with licensed medical professionals to provide health services to communities without access to health care. Last month, Rensselaer hosted a strategic planning session for the Board of Directors of the Downtown Troy Business Improvement District. One of the goals of the BID is to foster stronger relationships between the college and business communities. And students and other members of the campus community enjoyed a day of activities at the Northern Lights Winter Carnival, held at the East Campus Athletic Village. The day featured carnival games, food, inflatable games, sled dog team displays and demonstrations, fire performers, musical performances, and much more. That's it for this issue of Inside Rensselaer. For these stories and more, go to www.rpi.edu slash about slash inside.